director of the Massachusetts Center for the Book. Uh, the we're one of 52 state centers for the book around the country. There's a center in every state, as well as in the District of Columbia and in the U.S. Virgin Islands. We're all affiliated with the Library of Congress, and we all do outreach programming to advance the cause of books and reading, and to promote, as well as to leverage the resources of our public library systems in community development, community improvements. Um, we uh, are here today to celebrate uh, a long-awaited mass. And unfortunately, Mordecai wasn't available to come, wasn't able to come to the State House, but that gave us the great excuse to come here to this beautiful library. And it looks as if we might just recognize two trustees are here, Mickey Nevins and Brian Mulvihill. I don't know if you want to say. Well, I'd just like to thank um, everybody for coming. Um, again, this is this is a wonderful opportunity that we have. And thank you, Mordecai, for not being able to go to Boston. Yes. 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 To, uh, to have a ceremony here, which is appropriate since you are a town resident. And um, so we're just happy everybody's here. And I will just um, just reiterate what um, what you just said, that we do what we just have. This is a most amazing library. It is. Um, it really is. And we've had, um, you know, we've had a lot of uh, a lot of activities in this room and a lot of wonderful things. And, so it's a good it's a good community resource in addition to just being you know just being a place to come and get a book. So and it was, and it was built by the community. It was absolutely because built by the community. Wanted. Because we didn't take no for an answer. That's right. The joke That's is right. that we had a bake sale and built a library. That's true. Yes, and yes. so welcome it's to Representative Cocott. Thank you for coming as well. Happy to be here, coming right up the road. Yeah, yeah, we Not have. a long drive. I'd rather drive here than down to Boston and ask Mike. So anytime you want me to come here, all good. <laughs> all, good. all good. All right. Well, thank you and welcome. Thank you. So I would like to thank Representative Peter Cocott for being able to attend today and present Mordecai's award. Mordecai Gerstein, I, don't, I know you don't need any introduction. Um, the wonderful thing uh, when I was saying that I was coming to West Hampton today to uh, meet Mordecai Gerstein for the first time and present this award, everyone wanted to come. <laughs> Everybody was talking about it. And I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. I, I it, have to take the, back the joy. <laughs> who read with their children as well as to the children who read on their own is great. And I was just looking at all these wonderful books. And we're here today to celebrate the first drawing, but I also wanted to bring a recent book, The Night World, that you might not have seen yet. It's also terrific. So Representative Cocott. Thank you. So let me just, first of all, say a little bit about this library. If you come to my office in Boston, there's a flamingo next to my fireplace. Oh. <laughs> I, I have one of the few fireplaces in, in the uh, state house, and that's from the day upon which folks from West Hampton came down to Boston to testify on behalf of a bond bill that contained some of the state funds that were used to help build this library. So I have a fond place in my heart, and that, that bird is always there, and people will come in and go, What's that for me to do? Walking to the right. That's right. We need to get one of our posters. Ten yes. little spiders. Yeah. Yes. And, I, and I actually, someone put a bunch on my lawn as well. So I have one in, in, next to my chives oh, in okay. the garden. Um, and I think that we were talking a little bit. I'm a co-sponsor of the amendment to support the uh, center, and I'm very optimistic that it will be it will be in the uh, budget. And we have to work on making sure we don't have to do this every year. So we have, to, we have to lock it in at some point. It's a great thing. So um, this is my first Mordecai. I've, I've been doing this for many, many years. I have never presented um, uh, any sort of salutations to a Mordecai. And so my aide did a little bit of research um, on you. I didn't know a lot about you. And then I started reading about you. And um, what, a, what a great life and career. Let me just, just mention a few things that I learned about him. Obviously, he's an artist, writer. Painter, sculptor, uh, director of animated films, um, and uh, was born in Los Angeles, yeah. California. Yeah. My youngest son, Luke's girlfriend, is from Los Angeles. Wow. So, <laughs> um, yeah, people do come from <laughs> yes, and, and they stay. <laughs> and they stay. But one one quote, and I'll be brief. One quote as I was 
doing research was very interesting. Um, talking about um, making books, uh, Mordecai said, each one seems to be in some way essentially different from the others, and each is a surprise to me. I think that making books or any kind of art might also be like mining. The artist digs into his or her life and imagination and never knows what they'll find. That's the adventure. I thought that was just a great quote. And uh, I'm, I'm honored to be here. Um, I, I've, I've gone through all the great awards that you've received over the years and the great um, things that you've done. Massachusetts um, certainly is richer because you're here, and certainly West Hampton is richer because you're here, and Massachusetts is richer because you're here. And I, I'm, I don't even want to estimate how many lives you've impacted with your works and how many children and families have, have loved them. So all I, all I can say is keep up that fantastic work. And on behalf of the Massachusetts House of Representatives, the Speaker of the House, and me, I'd like to congratulate you in recognition of your Massachusetts Book Award. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Citation. Well, this is has this was uh, <clears throat> this is the award for uh, 2014 for the uh, for children's books, uh, and uh, I was thrilled and delighted to receive it in, in that recognition. Uh, it means a lot because it is my state, and uh, I have to thank you, Sharon, uh, for your doing what you do. You know. Uh, for the center for the book, so we have a center for the book, and uh, your persistence. You know, I thought I, I thought this day we never come. Really. And uh, after waiting for, didn't do, we couldn't do it in, in 2014, and then in 2015 we couldn't do it, um, and so 2016 came, and, and I couldn't be there. So everybody said it was a wonderful event. Uh, so. Um, so I want to thank you very much and uh, for going to this, to making this for me, <laughs> you know, here. And also, yeah, I, I mean, this is, uh, this library is very special, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, handmade, you know. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. It's an honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. People in your family or to libraries you love, and I think Mordecai will sign them. So, That's great. Um, Thank so you. these are two, and then we have some more copies. I'd like you all to take at least one more copy. Thank you very much. Oh, Thank goodness. you for being here. And Thank you, Mordecai. Oh, this you. is um, our delight. <laughs> okay, say, I don't know. One more. Nice. Good. Great. Can I court anybody?